What's going down, people? How you doing? TK Pryor coming at you. Uh, Mr. Finance here on social media. And um, hashtag is Master Wealth Builders. For those who care to listen or follow. I normally have resources for you to uh, Google and look up on your own. But I noticed that people aren't really referencing my resources so I'm, I'm not going to focus on that um, today I just want to talk to you about the matrix and how people refuse to wake up I mean you have a lot of sleeping dogs that are comfortable and they just um, they want to stay asleep and, and that's reflective in a lot of the uh, situations that um, people find themselves in uh, you know, we're in a paradigm shift right now, and a part of that paradigm shift involves information that ciphers through to certain people. You know, in other words, what used to be hidden is now not hidden. So if you wanted to take the time to learn, that opportunity is made available to you. And in my study, that's what I've come to find out, is that... A lot of information now is made available where it used to be hidden, okay? So with that flow of information, you get into this concept of taking personal responsibility with waking up and owning that information, but that's not what people want to do, but it's a double-edged sword because people want to complain about voluntary uh, servitude but yet don't want to take responsibility for physically waking up and owning the information that's available to learn. So you can't have, you know, both. You can't stay asleep and still complain about involuntary or voluntary servitude because you're voluntary submitting, right? And then you're complaining about life as a slave. You can't do that. You know, you have to wake up own the responsibility of learning and studying or you have to remain asleep and stop complaining about life as a slave and that's what I see is a lot of people who just refuse to wake up I don't think that it seems like it's not possible to wake people you can't wake people up they're gonna stay stupid they're gonna stay asleep and that's okay. I just don't want them to complain about their life, sleep, and stupid. You know, shut the fuck up and be a slave. You know, eventually, the people that are ruling the slaves plans to kill you. So until you are taken out of this life, then just shut up and live as a slave. Stop complaining. Stop fucking causing a problem to other people. Stop being a burden on society. You know, you want to remain a dead civil immortus you want to remain uh dead to the law under you want to fall underneath all these caste systems you want to fall underneath all of these labels these colored labels then shut up until it's your turn to die because that's the entire political system the, the political system is basically to steal your inheritance which you don't even know that you're entitled to, and then kill you before you have the opportunity to be a burden on anyone around you. So it's okay that you don't want to wake up. It's okay that you want to remain labeled underneath these uh, uh, Spanish Inquisition colored titles, you know, this caste system underneath the Roman Inquisitioner. That's cool. You know what I mean? They're paying excuse me, they are issuing coupons or debt notes to you and you're happy with your little representation of money, representations of money on a closed account. You're getting little checks on a closed account and you're happy with that. So it's okay Take your representation of money, which is labeled as a debt, a Federal Reserve note, a promissory from the Roman cure, and just shut up. That's the part that's obvious. It's hard to deal with all of these people in their mouths as fucking dead slaves. 
You're, you're eventually going to physically be dead. So keep your mouth shut until that happens. Since you refuse to wake up and you're happy with your claim checks, your promissory kickback notes that the Roman cure is giving you, step aside until they kill you off. It's really rough, you know. And the more I study, the more it's harder to deal with people in their mouth. Because you don't want to wake up. You don't want to talk about anything within uh, the science. You don't want to stand on your square. You just want to stay asleep, stay dead, and get payment. Or I should say fucking payoffs in debt notes. Because it's not a payment. There's no such thing as anything being paid. And it's hard to deal with people. You know, the best thing for me to do is stay in my zone. You know, stay to myself. Not say very much. And that's what I try to do. You know, the most time I talk is when I talk on these videos. And people don't even fucking respond to the video. So you guys are so fucking civilly dead that you can't even... There's, there's no hope. You know, you, you know, but to deal with your mouth, in addition to you being dead and taking payoffs from the Roman cure, is too much. You know, it's one thing if you want to dance with gasoline draws on, but it's another thing to parade it in other people's face with a match in your hand. You know, that's like it's too much, dude. Sit down in the corner, take your payoff, and shut your fucking mouth. It's hard to deal with these civilly dead people, you know. When that movie came out and he was like, I see dead people. That's what he was talking about. He was talking about all of the civilly dead Matrix participants that are happy with these payoffs and are just perfectly fine with no responsibility, aimlessly running around discharging debt. So my thing is, if you're going to stay in that state, if you're voluntarily going to submit to servitude, then put some tape across your mouth. 